Hi, this is a video about an off-grid system that we've been doing a bit of work on. It's an old diesel battery inverter. Uh, not that old, but um, considering how technology has changed. But we added some solar to it. Now I just want to focus in on the uh, computer screen and identify a few things. So the generator is in the foreground. But here we've got the batteries and the main, it's an inverter, well there's, there's two inverters in there, and a charger and a brain. And effectively what this does is it counts in the electricity into the batteries and counts it out. And then it runs the generator once a day automatically and at the end of the week it works out whether it's charged more than it's used or the other way around. It's quite old technology now so therefore it sort of works but not brilliantly. In there also there's a renewable input which means that the system can count what you put in from solar panels and there was a charge controller system where you put a remote relay but that charge controller system was I think probably the best way to describe it is rubbish so what we've done is we've added panels to that renewables input so it's counted in the system but up here we put a own charge controller so there are six panels on the roof and it's a 48 volt system so therefore uh, pairs of panels are in series so we've got two pair on one input and another pair on a separate input hopefully you'll enjoy this and this is what would be considered a series of possibilities that's a 6 kilowatt inverter and it also records uh, generation and consumption compares them so that's the main big box the far box there is just switching things on and off this main inverter here also controls a, a generator so it will um, switch it on at regular intervals or when the, the battery voltage gets low or consumption gets more than generation that sort of thing and next door to it here we have one two three four sets of batteries so we're on a 48 volt system each of these batteries being 12 volts at about 200 amp hours and recently I was involved in fitting a bit of a solar system on the roof and that is the generation at the moment now there we've got two pairs of panels and there we've got one pair of panels and because they're wired separately that means we can the charge controller can switch off the two pairs leaving the single pair to keep up with consumption and then of course as the sun moves round which is the case now they both stay on and the voltage is 56 volts I think that major two pairs switches off at 57 volts and comes back on at 54 volts whereas this one here the two pair the, the single pair switches off at 58.5 and switches back on at 55 so there we go it's a bit of a system let's open the box and have a look so here's the charge controller box. It's a right rat's nest. 
but there's a relay and there's another relay there there's 70 amp relays 12 volt and there in amongst behind that is one of the voltage sensing timer relays that I've talked about on other videos the VLC V20s and V21s and there it is and we're using both circuits in that voltage sensing unit but we're having them working purely on voltage so there's no timer element to this so one circuit controls the two times two panels and the other one controls the one pair of panels now just interesting this unit here is quite reliable but and it's got two inverters in it each of three kilowatt and uh, the the second inverter switches off after half an hour if the load is relatively low but each inverter draws three amps to run itself so although it might be very reliable it is a bit power hungry but it has the generator with it and I'm just going to see if I can get the camera uh, in place to take a brief shot of the generator just while we're here we might as well just have a view of what it says on the side of these batteries 12 volts 200 amp hours cycle use 14.4 there we go but there's sealed glass mat or something like that not quite as good as flooded batteries but they seem to behave but you can't allow these to get out of sync with each other so you really must um, take ultra care not to end up with a flat battery situation And here's the generator and of course you can hear this inverter buzzing away in the background so hopefully the camera doesn't pick it up too much but I bet you it will so this is a seven and a half kilowatt uh, generator with a three cylinder diesel quite quiet but the main thing is it's controlled and with the solar as well it doesn't use get used that much and of course it's got automatic start on it as well and here's the control box so it's on and uh, it does run for a short period automatically once a day but you could set this sort of thing up with a Victron a modern Victron inverter that has quite a lot of relay outputs so effectively you've got a relay in there and you can wire to the contacts and feed say for instance 12 volts or 24 volts through the contact to go off and switch something else useful to have a generator you've got to have a backup so it's very used to have a generator it's also used to have a generator that will switch on by itself and you can also have it on a time clock so it switches on at certain parts of the day or what have you and if you are totally off grid then when you want to use welding equipment or the washing machine or things like that you may very well switch the generator on and whilst you're using the heavy equipment it's charging the batteries at the same time because all the charger and everything is all fitted together it's all permanently wired in like this big inverter back here 
Yeah, there's a big charger involved in that as well. So it's all remotely controlled. So it controls the whole system and um, you don't have to have a total awareness. A good awareness of the system is vital, but if things can happen automatically, it stops things going badly wrong.